So this video is going to show you how to create and name rooms within Floor Planner. And it will also show you a trick to create a zero thickness wall so that you can split uh, rooms that are in an open floor plan style that don't actually have a wall uh, to demarcate those rooms. So here is a floor plan that I have. And as you can see, there are no rooms labeled on here. Uh, really quick, I wanted to show you one thing that you might want to do is under the hammer tool, background settings. You can change your transparency so that you can see the background image more or less um, in case you want to be able to see what your rooms look like while you're working. You can also turn your background image on or off completely by clicking on this button. All right, so to create a room, you go to the info button and there is set room type. So you want to click the room. Let's start with the bathroom. And here's room type and somewhere in this list there's the bathroom. And if you want to add the square footage you can go to settings here and say show room size. X out of that, and there you go. There your there's your label for the bathroom. Uh, let's do the same thing for this bedroom. So what I found helps is if you click the room first and then name it. All right, back to settings. If you want to give it a custom room name, you can go. Sorry, I'm not sure what that was. You can go to here and change the name here. So let's just call this bedroom two. And I'm going to show the room size. This is also where ceilings get automatically generated. All right, so now we have that one labeled. And now let's come over and do the other bedroom. And here's where our problem is created. As you can see, it thinks <laughs> this little tiny corner here and this closet belongs to that bedroom. Now, while this looks weird, I would like to fix that, but this will actually impact the square footage. And it also implies that this closet belongs to that room, but instead it's actually this closet here that belongs to the room, and this closet is the hall closet, the entry closet. So I'm going to X out of here, and we need to fix the junctions in this room. Um, basically, you can see that if I drag this, I, all the walls move with it, so that means those are all one continuous wall. So that's not where the problem is. I'm going to hit undo. If I grab this dot, that moves independently. So that means it's not actually merged with the other wall. So I'm going to drag this blue dot. And if you look, as I drag it to the right, it shows it's going to merge, but with those blue dotted lines with the other two walls. And now when I drag it, it all moves together. Now, if you don't like, and I agree, that there's this bump in the wall, you can click on this wall, and then you can say move across axis. And think of this as just a percentage of on center. If the, if the wall is completely on center or completely off center to one side or the other. And this really just comes down to eyeballing it. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit X. And oh, I can see it's a little bit off. I'm going to let you play with that on your own. And let's go back and create this room again. Oh, I guess we can fix this in the same way. You can see that this is a problem here. And that one's good. So hopefully now our room looks better when we create it. So I'm going to say set room type again. I'll pick the room and now you can see it is a much better looking room uh, perimeter drawing that it has. So the room type, this is also a bedroom. And here I'm going to definitely go in and name this one. So what settings and I'll say master. And you might notice that it says bedroom below and then master bedroom above. That's the two different names right now. And until I X out of here, it keeps both of those. So don't worry about if it shows both. Now, the nice thing about this you might have noticed is when you go to set room type, it actually starts to summarize or add up the different square footage for each room category. So now we have the bedroom one and bedroom two being added together to give us this square footage. 
Uh, obviously, there's a bit of rounding going on um, if you do the math, but that's okay. So now one last trick for separating these two rooms is, as you can see, if I say set room type and I pick this room, it thinks this is all one room because there's no wall delineating these two different rooms. So I'm going to X out of here and I'm going to draw a wall. Sorry, wrong tab. Draw a wall. In here, I'm going to change the thickness to zero, which it actually already was. And since I want to call this part the hallway and not the actual kitchen, I am going to actually draw a... Sorry, you have to keep it held down. I'm going to click here and draw that zero thickness wall across to the other side. I'm going to try to there. I'm make it parallel to that kitchen. Now, if you hover over it just in the right way, you can see it's starting to select it. So if you ever need to modify it, you have to find it. There's, it's really hard. You have to just know that it's there. And similarly, I'm going to draw a wall over here. Let's say from the middle over. Actually, it might have made more sense to come from the corner, but that's okay. We'll go th with this for now. And now we can pick just the kitchen. Turn on the square footage. And I'll do one more, which is the living room. And there you go. I could go in and name this hallway too. You could go in and name closets or stairs or others like that. But this is what I'm looking for. Now, the last thing you would want to do before you snip an image here is uh, go into the hammer again in background settings and I think it looks better at this point without the background image on since you have those rooms labeled anyway and this is a good image showing your room names right that's it for now